So in today's, um, today's Kahoot, we are going to be going over your 4 slash 7 assignment. So I want you to go ahead and pull that assignment out. Um, you can open it on another tab and flip back and forth between the answers. But I think it would be easiest and best if you write them down. And then you can look at your answers as we go. If you need more time, if you're at home, just go ahead and pause this video. And then we are going to go ahead and get started. 4 slash 7 assignment. Number 1, or sorry, number 18, is what was the main reason Dylan's book was a success? People wanted to help Dylan and Jonah. It showed what a chocolate bar meant to Dylan. People were curious about Dylan's favorite activities. It revealed what Jonah likes best about Dylan. The answer was F. Number 19. Dylan and Jonah used the phrase so chocolate bar to describe A. Events that raise money for Jonah. B. Experiences that they enjoy. C. Places that sell Dylan's book. D. Ways to make someone feel better. Number 20, why did the author include the information in paragraph 4? F, to explain how so many people heard about Dylan's mission. G, to tell why the two friends were asked to be on, tele on TV shows. H, to describe a place Dylan got to visit before, uh, sorry, because of the book. J, to reveal what information can be found on Dylan and Jonah's website. The answer was F. Number 21, what is the best summary of paragraphs 1 through 3? This one was too long to put the actual answer choices. And so you'll just select whatever that you picked on your assignment. The answer is D. Remember, a summary is going to have something from the beginning, something from the middle, and something from the end in that order. Number 22, which detail from the article suggests that many people want to help Jonah? F, the book describes some of Dylan's experiences. G, the scientists at a university need to do some research. H, Dylan's book has raised several hundred thousand dollars. J, Dylan's parents provided ideas about how to raise money. The answer was H. Number 23, the reader can infer that people with busy schedules can still help Fruit for All by A, starting a group in their own neighborhood, B, helping collect fruit from people who have extra, C, allowing volunteers to pick, up fruit, to pick fruit from their trees, D, asking people to become volunteers. This is one that we went over in the comprehension lesson, so no one should have gotten this wrong. In paragraph 2, the word initially means, at first, carefully, always, or without help. Another one. This is another one that we went over in the comprehension lesson. And the answer is, at first. Number 25, which info on the Fruit for All website will be useful to someone who wants to help but lives far away from Zach? A, how to start a group. B, the different fruits the group accepts. C, the steps necessary to get volunteers to pick fruit. D, how to help pick fruit. The answer is A, how to start a group. Number 
Number 26. One problem Zach faced after he started Fruit for All was F. Collecting fruit from people who lived miles away. G. Getting enough people to participate in his project. H. Finding enough time during the week to volunteer. J. Keeping up with information on the website. G was our answer here. Number 10, Dylan's, Dylan in A Book from Jonah and Zach in Fruit for All would most likely agree that A. Children can help people more than adults can. B. Using technology is the only way to inform people. C. Schools should support people in the community who are needed. D. It is easier to accomplish a goal with the support of friends and family. D is our answer. Number 28. Dylan's plan in a book for Jonah differs from Zach's plan in Fruit for All because Dylan's plan involves F. Giving to others. G. People in the community. H. Creating something to sell. Or J. Providing information on the website. Number 29, paragraph 5 of A Book for Jonah and paragraph 3 of Fruit for All are similar because the paragraphs A, provide details about Dylan and Zach's achievements, B, give information about how others can support Dylan and Zach, C, describe how Dylan and Zach thought of their ideas, or D, explain how other people learn about Dylan and Zach's, about Dylan and Zach's ideas. The answer was A. And lastly, number 30. What is one way that Dylan in A Book for Jonah and Zach and Fruit for All are different? And again, this one was too long to put the answer choices. So you're just going to select whichever one you put on your paper. or Sorry, not your paper. Your assignment. And the answer is J. All right, so that is going to be the end of today's comprehension lesson. You're going to go ahead and move on to today's assignment.